I, in this video, I'm going to cover the topic of um, uh, a product we're selling called the HDMI to YPBPR uh, converter here. Okay, so basically the idea of this is that um, you buy a little kit, it looks like this, there's two component parts in it. There's a converter here that you take an input from a HDMI and you convert it over to uh, YP. Uh, BPR um, output on it, okay, which is this here, and there's a little cable with it as well that you use for powering the actual device. So you can power this directly off with, say, something like a phone charger um, wall plate, or you could charge it directly off of the USB port that's on your TV, and invariably all televisions have it. Why would you use it? You'd use it for one or two issues, reasons. Uh, the first thing is, is that this can give HDMI type quality on it in terms of the YPBPR um, that thing. So, um, so you're getting a high resolution picture and you can get audio on it as well. But there's two reasons you'd not normally use it. Number one is you've you've an older television that doesn't have a working HDMI input on it, or that all the HDMI inputs that are actually on your device are. Um, uh, are taken already. So what I have here is I have a combo box that's running directly over and we have this set up and we have a HDMI input on it. So imagine the situation where that HDMI port has already been used by another device. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to revert, convert around and I'm going to pull out the HDMI lead. We've no output here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this in here and I'm converting this over now to work. So there's a little light lights up but it's not sufficient to reliably power it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to plug in this little phone charging here. This is like a 5 volt 2 amp output on it and I'll plug it directly into the side port on this. So it's just here and now it's powered properly. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go to the television here and I'm going to choose the correct input on it. So I just hit the source button and I'm going to choose YPBPR input on it. So I shouldn't have talked so much there. We have it there so that's fine. I can just go okay. That's the input there. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get this here, and I'm going to go with the very first cable here. So we can see we have a, a five inputs, one after the other here. Now the first three are looking after picture, the next two are looking after audio. So I simply insert green into green. I insert this around, we'll just wait a second. We'll see if a picture here, it's black and white, okay? So I insert next the blue into it. And once I insert the blue, we'll have a little bit more color. Well, this is actually a black and white image, which is just bad luck, okay, right? But anyway, there would be more blue if there was blue to be seen there. And then the final thing here is I grab the red, and the red that's not tied together with the others, uh, the red and white, which are obviously audios. And now we're back to color. But there'd be no audio at this point here. And what I'm going to do here on the final thing is I'm just going to insert the white and the red here. Insert it in. And now, effectively, it's like we have another HDMI port on it. We go there, we have our high picture quality, we have the things like that. So it's a really, really um, niche product to the extent that, you know, very rarely do we get emails on it. But if you looked at the back of your television, you saw that you had that port free, and you wanted a very quick, easy, low-cost adapter that would definitely work. This is what we're saying here. Is it. So that's it anyway, the HDMI to uh, um, YBPPR uh, converter. Um, it's available at low-cost... Um, uh, small parts of delivery directly from freetv.ie and it's just another uh, quality product that fits a niche in the TV market range directly from freetv.ie.